Hey there, Jody here. Okay, so we have a very important lesson to learn today. I bet you don't even know what those percentages mean when I give you the percentage of precipitation, or I say 20, 30% chance, 40% chance of rain. I bet that most of you don't even know how we come up with that, and you think it's a lot simpler than it is. In any case, I thought today was a very good day to explain it, given that we are seeing some rain outside. I gave a nice forecast for today of a 30 to 40% chance of showers, and one of the first messages I saw on my Facebook page, under my forecast, was this. I'm going to read it because I wrote it down to not get it wrong. It was from someone named Juan who said, How you figure? 30% chance of rain? It's pouring outside my window. You're an idiot. <laughs> okay, I ain't even going to lie. The minute I read that at first, I was kind of like, oh! And then for a minute, you're like, oh my gosh, that's awful. Other people are going to see that. And then for a split second, you're like, you know what, what? And then you back off, you're like, oh, I'm on, t on TV, I can't go there. And then I realized, you know what? I ain't hating on Juan at all. You know why? Because I think a lot of people misunderstand what those percentages mean. And I figured we would turn this in to one heck of a lesson. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, here we go. All right, Juan and everybody else, listen up. I'm gonna let you understand it because the truth is until you know how we come up with that percentage, you're not gonna be able to quantify or quite understand what it means. And understanding what it means is going to help you in the future when I give those percentages, be able to um, put it into context and understand really more about what your forecast is. And that's the purpose of my page. So let's break it down for you. Okay, so when we have a storm headed our way, any given storm or a system or a change in the atmosphere or something that's causing rain, I start looking at all of my computer models and the data that I have. I have a ton, okay? We won't get into that now, but I start bringing out all my little tools and reading all of the cool digits and the numbers and, and figuring out what we expect. Okay, it's an easy, easy, um, Equation. Okay, so I wrote a little bit of it down. I want you to see this. Okay, so we have something called a POP, probability of precipitation, um, that we use in weather, right? We'll write POP. You don't see that ever. You just see a percentage. Basically, just means chance, chance of rain, right? So this is the percentage chance, and it equals two things. It equals C times A, all right? This is easy. Ready? C is the confidence of the forecaster. Okay, this is where your history and your schooling and your experience and your knowledge comes into play. When you're dealing with each individual storm, it's different, but I'll say your confidence as a forecaster, right? So let's say I'm really confident based on my tools and my knowledge and my expertise that we're going to see some rain. I'm confident in my forecast. I would put, say, 100%. Pardon the sloppy writing. I'm doing this backwards. Okay, 100%, right? Now, times... The area, the area in our county, my coverage area, which is like a giant square, our county, right? From the coast to the deserts, our county is like a giant square. The area that I think is going to get rain. So my confidence is 100% that, say, 50% of the county is going to get rain, right? Or 30% of the county is going to get rain. So today it was, I was pretty confident that 30% of the coverage area was going to get some rain. When you do that, the chance, the POP, comes out to 30%. How nice and around, right? But that's my 30% chance. Obviously, it'd be less if my confidence was only 50%. Do you see? So that's what we use to come up with those percentages. Now, here's how it applies to you, okay? So you go, okay, big deal. 30%. Was Juan right or, or wrong to be mad at you that it was pouring outside his window and you only gave it 30%? Um, you can take it however you want, but here's the thing. Forecast, totally right. Totally right even Juan's forecast. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. All right. Now, one factor that is not taken into consideration in that equation, in the percentage that you get when you watch your weather forecast from whoever, hopefully me, is the duration of rain and the amount of rain, right? So let's say this is my coverage area. and I, That pretty much is it. The county of San Diego is almost an exact square, right? So my forecast area that I have to forecast for, all of the people, millions that live in here, I have to forecast for. So when you're watching me in the morning, I'm not just forecasting for Juan right here in San Diego. I'm forecasting for this entire coverage area, right? So let's say on any given day there's a storm system. It's coming 100% confident. I think 30% of the county is going to get some rain, and that's what I forecast 30%. Rather than going, eh, 20, 30%, leave the umbrella hanging in the closet. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
My forecast, if you were listening, means that I'm pretty darn confident that 30% of the county is going to see some rain. Okay, so that's looking at it a different way. So that could be like this. Let's say the pop-up showers come, and we get a little shower here, over there, maybe near Vista, maybe another one over here, one down in the South Bay. That's about 30%, okay? That would not be a 100% chance of rain. It might be for those areas, but to be honest with you, my 30% chance of a forecast has panned out, even if Juan doesn't see any. So what would happen is, okay, Let's say one lives right here, okay? Maybe it's Chula Vista and is getting poured on today, this morning, how he said, Jody, you're an idiot, I'm getting poured on, how could it be a 30% chance of rain? Well, it's very easy. If you live in the 30% that's getting the rain, good for you, you should be happy, you shouldn't be trolling on the internet, you should be jumping up and down outside in the puddles and enjoying it, right? But let's say Juan's getting that, and he's, well, well he, well, he should be happy, but he's sad, okay? He's upset because he thinks the forecast's wrong. This person may be, in, and he could be getting, let's say, an inch of rain, right? An inch of rain. Maybe this person's only getting, like, none, right? Like a thousandth of an inch, <laughs> okay? And this person is also mad, even though the forecast was right, and then maybe this person over here in Alpine or in a Ramona is getting two inches of rain. And this person is like, OMG, this is incredible, right? The forecast was right for all of those people, but they're all interpreting it differently. So the reason I wanted to do that was to let you know that in order to understand your weather, you're going to need to understand where your forecasters are coming from. We're forecasting for large areas, right? And in some spots across the nation, it's even bigger than what we have here. To try to help with that, what we do here at our station is we try to divvy the county up into four sections. Coast, inland valleys, mountains, and deserts, right? The reason we do that is not so that you can so much get, you know, it's not so we can be fancy, it is so that it can help, especially in times of rain. We divvy the county up into four spots, the coast, the inland valleys, the mountains, and the deserts, because that's kind of the way that it goes. And so I might say there's a 30% chance at the coast. So expect that maybe 30% of that is going to get a little rain, right? I might say there's a 50% chance in the valleys, and maybe the 50% looks like this. Maybe the rain is here and here, but it's still 50%. I might say there's a 90% in the mountains. You get the picture, right? But if you live here in the middle of the valleys, let's say you live in El Cajon and you didn't see anything, you might be at home going, she said there was a 50% chance. She said chance the showers were likely today and I didn't get zilch. And then you're mad because you think I busted the forecast. No, that's not how it works. I can't give out a million different forecasts for a million different people. And here's why this is important. So many people will say, my app says, you know, 70, 80%. You're saying only 30. Now, apps are not people. And sometimes there's people behind the apps, but to be honest with you, most of the apps that are out there are not from people that are in San Diego if you have an app, right? Um, so what's happening is a forecaster, and the reason why you still have to watch TV or you still have to follow a page or you still have to get an app that I forecast for or that we forecast for is that we can put it into context. Yes, there's a 30% chance from now through noon, but from noon to this time and this six hour time frame, we have an 80% chance. And then I can say my forecaster confidence is lower on this one. I'm honest. I'm an honest forecaster. Sometimes I'm like, toss a coin, man. This could go either way. And that's the kind of forecaster you want. Somebody who tells it like it is. So here's the thing. Was one right to go, oh my gosh, it's pouring outside and she caught, well, here's the thing, you know, everybody's feelings are validated. That's cool. I wish you would just reach out to me and ask instead of calling me an idiot. But hey, I've been called worse. It's all right, homie. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, just know to wrap things up, you can get heavy rain for 10 minutes and the forecast still panned out. You can get a little bit of rain for, for an hour, the forecast still panned out, if the percentage is correct. So let's check, was it correct? Okay, so what I did is right before I started filming this, I pulled up the Doppler radar totally blind. I pulled it up on our NBC7 site. Take a look at it. I want you to see that on the Doppler radar, and you look at our coverage area, because I just basically cut out our coverage area, there is about 30% of our county right now that is seeing some rain. And that's kind of how it's been all day. There's been about a 30%
of our county that is seeing rain in the forecast coverage area at any given point, and that was my 100% confidence. So if your spot didn't get any, sorry this time around, we have plenty more opportunity in the, in the week to come. I mean, we have some tomorrow, and then all next week there's chances. So now when you tune in to NBC7 in the mornings, Monday through Friday, starting at 4.30, you're gonna be able to see that if I say, my confidence is pretty high, or you know what, I have low confidence, but I still think that we're gonna get something, so I'm going with 20, or if I say, hey, it's a 60% chance today, because I really do think many of us are gonna get it, and my confidence is very high, and I tend to explain why, this is exactly why you gotta be watching, or at least getting our app. Why am I teasing my app? Why am I plugging my app? Here's why. If you have random apps, okay, I won't even need to give names out, but there's a lot that comes standard on your phone, not from San Diego, but here's the thing. If you get NBC7's news app, the weather feature on there has the exact same radar that I just showed you. It's the same radar I use on air, and here's the kicker, we, we, me, Whitney, Dagmar, Larissa, we put the forecast into the app locally for us here. So there's a difference. We can explain in the text version, confidence is high or confidence is low, or this is what to expect. So that's why you want to follow along if you can't watch on TV. And I know a lot of people are cord cutters. A lot of people don't watch TV. A lot of people are seeing me for the first time here on Facebook. That's all good. Follow my page. Get our app. We can get our weather in many different ways. And that's about it. So to wrap things up, do not troll your local forecasters anywhere in the U.S. Don't bash them if you think the forecast is wrong because sometimes what you think is wrong is very right to someone else. And the forecast area is large. And even if they get it wrong and bust it, because Lord knows I have busted too, just like everybody, just like the best of them, do not troll. Life is too hard. We got to set a good example. Just don't troll anybody for anything. It's not worth it. And um, spread joy and love, okay? So to Juan, thank you for at least looking at my page and getting my forecast. I appreciate that. I hope this made sense. I hope we made a new friend. And um, that's about it. So like, share, comment. You know the drill. But here's the thing. Most importantly, if you're not following my page and you're watching this because somebody else shared it, Follow my page. My name is Jody. I will post these often. Don't forget, it's cool to be smart, and I will send you out. Bye.